course, you're in a good relationship, happy in your Thank marriage. Thank yeah. yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Are there things that you see in, in Guy that you see I in yourself? I need to fix in myself? Yeah, uh, yeah definitely. Yeah. I mean, in a way, that's how you kind of know you're in the right relationship when when you feel a deep connection to somebody, but then there's still there's a lot of work that needs to be done, and just the growth that you know our relationship has undergone in the last four years has been amazing. And it's so cool that you have such a great creative kind of affinity with yeah. each other, and you can yeah. work together, and there's yeah. that thread. And I totally respect and admire his opinions on everything. I mean, I wouldn't finish a song without him hearing it, or all my work. I you know I show to him, and I want his input. Every one of us came to this earth for a purpose. We all have a destiny to fulfill. For a while, I was wallowing in a world of confusion. I started asking myself so many questions. What's important in life? What really matters in life? Why am I here? The more in touch you get with the spiritual side of yourself, the less afraid you become of anything. It is about looking beneath the surface and taking responsibility for everything that you do. If I've been enlightened, and I truly feel like I've been enlightened, then it's my responsibility to share what I know with other people. Tell me about um, your, I'm sure, you, you know, I know how busy you are, but um, you have friends, you've, how, I, how I do you, how I don't, I really have no friends. You have no friends. <laughs> You've got me. I'm sorry. I'm how, do you fit, you. how do you fit your friends in? I, I mean, I even find it difficult, and I'm about one billionth as well, busy as you. Yeah, are. well, it's... It's hard. I, I, I must say I don't have as much time for a lot of my friends as I used to. And we end up talking on the phone and emailing each other more than seeing each other these days, it seems. But I do have a handful of really good friends, and I'm very, very grateful for them. Are they mostly people that you've known for a long time, or kind yeah. of half and half? Yeah, I mean, I have a kind of family around me that's been working with me for years, and they've become my, my really good friends. Mm -hmm. I consider, you know, my manager to be one of my best friends. She's known me for 15 years. So. She's awesome. And uh, my sister is an excellent friend of mine. You know, obviously she's known me for <laughs> ages. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I mean, I, I tend to like to keep people around me that I've known for a long time. There's, you know, I have lots of surrogate mothers and I'm very lucky. To, to have that, you know. I don't have a lot of friends, but I have some very good ones. We are zooming forward, but that is what's happening to civilization. Nothing, Nothing takes the past away. Nothing takes the past away like the future. Like the future. Everything I did led me up to this moment. So if I would have changed other things, I wouldn't be here. I still love everything I do. If I don't love it, I'm not doing it. I have such a long journey ahead of me. And where it goes, I don't know. I wanted to ask you, since you are the mother of reinvention, mm -hmm. if you would ever consider someday actually, you know, becoming like, one of your reinventions being becoming a beautiful older woman and having like a wrinkle and a gray hair. I, I'm pretty sure I already have a few wrinkles and gray <laughs> hair, so just don't zoom in too close, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that's the direction I, I'm going in and, um, you know. That's what it seems to me, and yeah. I think that would be very exciting. Yeah, okay. Fat rolls and wrinkles, right on. <laughs> it's the new rage. <laughs> Give us a kiss, fun. love. Mwah. That was lovely. Mwah. Am I gonna be a star? Missy and Madonna boy ain't no better. Next up, the pretty woman with the most kissable lips. Not a bad figure either. Us women, you are hard to give a compliment, you see. Julia Roberts talks candidly about Hollywood and why her love life is often bigger news than her talent. Well, she can't have everything, surely, can she?